Holy moly, Fred's got a big shot. Uh. Oh, oh no! Oh, we got to feed the shark. What's going on? Are you going to use a hermit craft? Yeah. All right, we haven't even done the intro yet, but Jack has spotted some bonnie, so <laughs> he's straight into it. There's a school of fish here I've just seen, seen in the shallows, so I'm going to cast out and see if I can catch one. I haven't even seen them in the first place. Yeah. You're on. Fish on, fish on. Woo! Fish on. Oh, right away. Oh, it's a bone fish. Yeah, you got it. I can't believe that. <laughs> you. Look at that. I can't believe it. <laughs> that is a bone fish. One of the most sought after sports fish in the whole entire world. I just caught it on the hand line. That is amazing. That's crazy. So unfortunately, these guys are quite appropriately named the bonefish. They're full of bones, which means they're no good at eating. Uh, but as I mentioned, sports fishermen from all over the world would go mad for a fish like this. They're one of the fastest fish in the ocean. See that? That's the, uh, the real engine down the back end. Big, powerful tail and you can sight cast them in places like this. So that was pretty special. I can't believe that, friend. Thanks for the good times, mate. There go. Good morning and welcome back to another episode. Yeah, welcome back, guys. What are we up to today, friend, besides catching bonefish? So Jack is going to try and catch something edible on the headline. Yeah. Yeah, out behind us here, guys, the, the water is beautiful and clear. And I've seen a couple of other species of fish yep. that are tasty eating, cruising around. So I'm going to walk out and see if I can uh, catch some of them on the hand line. Yeah, and I'm going to go for a swim and show you something special on the water, hopefully. Fingers crossed, guys. It's a beautiful day. Hope you enjoy coming along for the ride. Oh, that was a bony. What happened, friend? He hit it on the way in. And then got off. Oh, he got off. Yeah, he got the army crab though. We need to put another one Need on. more bait? Yeah. Oh, there's a couple of big ones in here. Yeah. I'll get him. Nice one. Yeah? Oh! You got him? Is he on? Oh, no! Holy moly! You got him? Yeah. Whoa, geez, he's fast! Oh, he's getting around the rock! Pull him in, pull him in! Get out there, get out there! Oh, he's coming up the shallows! Pull him up, friend! Oh, good job! Geez, that's a big one! Oh. Bonefish off the beach, friend! On the hand line! That was awesome! <laughs> All They're right. so fast, aren't they? Yeah. Nice work. Oh, he got me. <laughs> Pulled the hand line out of your hands, friend. I know. I de I'm definitely not good with the hand line, but it's so slippery, and I was trying to do this. Yeah. If you know what I mean. But then I was scared that a shark was going to get it, and then... <laughs> they rip your fingers <laughs> off. Rip my fingers off. Well, I think we just found out that's the reason why sports fishermen all around the world love them because they're just so powerful for a little fish, eh? I know. Amazing. Crazy. All right, let's go out a bit deeper and see what we can find. Yeah. Enough of mucking around with the bonies. I'm going to get in the water and show you what's underneath. Look at Jack over there, looking for something to catch on the hand line. Fingers crossed he catches something. Alright, let's head out and see if we can find something edible to catch on the line. The tide is dropping so it's going to get shallower and shallower. Uh, but there are some nice fish that remain in the lagoon up on top of the reef flat here. That's what we're after. 
target species would be, I would get a yellow lip emperor. That would be amazing. There's also things like bluefin trevally and cod. So let's see how we go. School of beautiful parrotfish here. These guys won't take a bait. They're just grazing on all the algae on the reef. Here, now these kind of bommies with the sand patches in the middle, that's where I'm going to be trying to catch the fish. The fish we're targeting obviously love these bommies as a source of shelter and also for hunting for little fish and crabs and that sort of stuff. So I might be able to get on top of this bommie here. It's all just sort of dead rock on top. I'll be able to stand on that, look down and hopefully catch a fish. Look at the beautiful coral here. Oh, look at these blue trevally. Look at these blue trevally. They're the ones I want, guys. Better get another bait on there. That's what just hit my line. He, geez, he took off quick. There's a big bluefin trevally. Oh, where is he? He's over that way now. Come back, mate. Come back, come back, come back. I think a shark just took my bait. That's not what I'm after. Fran's over there having a bit of a swim around. Hopefully she's seeing some cool things. All right, this one is not too big today, so I'm just gonna cross the wave and go in the deeper water. Before. That was just the best swim ever. <laughs> I'll go help Jack catch something now. That's what happens when you go through the waves. Then the waves so small today. Oh, it, it looked like Jack was on. How you going? Hello. Yeah, a couple of bites and a, a bluefin trevally almost took the bait, but nothing yet. How, how are you going? Uh, it was so cool. You'd be so jealous if I tell you. What happened? <laughs> I saw a mantis. Yeah. And I saw two spinner dolphins just came full speed to check me out and then they left. Really? But yeah, the mantis what? were feeding. So sad. They were feeding through plastic and stuff. but. So That's amazing. I am. Here I am, buddy, getting sunburned on a rock. <laughs> We're swapping duties because I didn't have any luck, so you can strap a head mount on. Go for it. And I'm going to go for a swim to see where all the fish are hiding. <laughs> Alright. That's you, way too big for you. Are you going to burly something? Yeah, I'm going to see if I can find any fish, maybe burly up um, some it. shells, cause a bit of commotion, bring them all in, and then we'll catch them. That's the plan. Sounds good. So I have a bite. Yeah. Jack, can you give me a hand? I think I got a fish on. Oh, Jack just went and got it because I was all tangled. I got 500 things in my hands. We got it! Well done. <laughs> well done, Fran. We got a dark tailed snapper. 
He's a bit little for us though, we'll let him go, eh? Yeah. See you, buddy. Well done, friend. Thank you. I think I'm on to a shark. I don't want to touch the hand line and get my fingers ripped off. <laughs> What should we do? I don't know. I don't know what to do. <laughs> this wasn't part of the plan. Oh, God. Oh, God. Holy moly, Fred's got a big shark. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. It is a shark. Oh, God. 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 Oh, so we've opted for a slight change of plan. We're now walking along the beach and trying to sight cast a fish. Uh, after Fran caught that shark, there was a, a whole heap of them came in. So yeah, hence we came ashore. We didn't want to lose any more bait to the sharks. Yep. And fingers crossed we can spot something from up here. Oh, Fran, there's, there's a big yellow lit there. Here, here, here. Go, 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 film you, film you, film you. Good cast. I think I cast too close to him and actually spooked him. I'll see if I can get another cast to him. That was the exact fish we're after, a yellow lip emperor or probably like that big. There's some rock pools over here that come out a little tight, so I'm gonna go and uh check if I can find something for you. There's a Morio under that rock. Oh my god, it's coming straight over the rocks. I think she just realized I'm not food. I just spotted two Morios under a rock and I'm gonna get close and see what they're up to. See all the fish that she's trying to catch? So there's two more hills under this rock trying to hunt the little fish and then over there they're all camouflaging you can't see them That was so cool. I'm gonna go back and see if Jack caught anything yet. Any luck? This is a fish that I've chased for so many years and there's about a hundred of them right here in the shallows. The elusive bonefish. <laughs> but at the moment I want a bluefin trevally or something a little tastier. Oh, this chassis is gonna go for it. Oh, it's smelling it. You see where that trevally went? No. It comes flying. Oh yeah, there he is. Look at a bonefish. Oh, here's a bony here, Fran, look. So close. Oh, shark, go away. What have you got? Look at that. Oh, it's a bone fish. Oh, man. So now we've got a tough decision to make whether we eat one of these very bony specimens called a bone fish or whether we keep trying to catch something else. What do you reckon, friend? Your choice. Looking for. That's a big spider. I hope it fall, my be, be careful because the web goes from here. Oh yeah. Up there.
we're right for firewood now. It's going good. Thank you. Alright, so the way we're going to eat this bonefish is a way that I have been recommended by a couple of people that do eat them is we are going to gut him, we're going to take his big scales off and then we're going to cut him into steak sort of size pieces that some people would do like a Spanish mackerel or a wahoo. But first step, let's scale him. Are you hitting me? It's got <laughs> impressive scales, doesn't it? Yeah. There's just scales <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> oh! We made a mess. As usual. <laughs> Your hungry belly bottom is trying to get it. <laughs> Next step, we're going to take his guts out. I'll give him a quick rinse and then we'll finish off preparing him. It's ready. So we've just been loving cooking fish and banana leaves here. So we're going to do it in nice kind of steak size pieces, wrap it all in banana leaves on the fire, but I'll hand over to Fran for that part. It's quite meaty. There's a lot of meat there. So that's its middle bone and then it's got these sections with these additional bones through there. Oh, what? <laughs> oh, got one. All right, that's it. That's it? That's it. You got them all? <laughs> that was you probably think. as bad as you dropping the coconut on. <laughs> I can no longer tease you. Anyway, that's what we're dealing with. It might have been one extra piece, but for now we've got five steaks for dinner. Well, Fran, I'm going to hand it over to you to take it for the rest of the dinner prep. Sounds good. It's a big banana leaf, eh? Hey? So we're going to put the steaks in banana leaves and we're going to put them on the coal. Sounds good. Easy. All right, so for the new viewers, what are you doing here, Fran? If you warm the banana leaf up, it gets all soft, so it doesn't break. Nice. Yeah, okay, that's good. And the what? spatula is coming in handy. <laughs> All right, you want me to open her up? Yeah. Oh, there's a bit of heat once you get to the. Once you get in there. Oh wow! Oh, nice. That's really good. There's um beautiful little 
cutlets of meat there. I'll open this one for you as well. Thank you. I love the smell of banana leaves. Wow. Yum, look at that. Oh, there's a fair bit of heat there. That's the money, that one, friend. Look at that, that is beautiful. So this is the bit we were really curious about, guys. The bonefish is uh, right now having a lot of bones, believe it or not. So we were just curious whether the meat to bone ratio is worth keeping and eating them. Let's find out. Here you go. Mm, it's not pretty really nice. Is it? It's firmer than any other fish we eat. Is it? No. So I'm about to break this bit away. That's good. The fish is they're not gooey, they're just bone. And bonia. And bonia. So this was the fillet. Mm. The guts were here. And then you had a set of bones going this way, a set of bones going that way, and then the normal straight. Well, it was pretty amazing to find that huge school of bonefish today, guys. Like, as we said, they're such a sought after fish for sports fishermen. Um, we generally wouldn't take them, but seeing the number of fish there, I think it was all right just to take one for a feed. And I saw a spinner dolphin and I saw manta rays feeding. What an amazing day. We keep choking on bones here, guys. I'm sure you uh, don't want to see us choking on bones for the next 10 minutes. We're just feeding the whole thing. Yeah, up. yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, thanks for watching the episode. See you next time. For future, catch and release bonefish. It's pretty hard work. <laughs> see you guys. <laughs>